That's helpful. Okay, only so many hands and not a podium, and that's okay. This is inspired by the powerful and magical Mike Michelle, one of the GQR board members. How are you doing over there, Rockin' Uranus? Good? Excellent, okay. And the Hebrew scripture, lore, and narrative. This is inspired by my niece and nephew, who are genderqueer in their own way, already exhibiting genderqueer attributes, although that could just be my projection. Uh, they are my whole world. I love these two little people so much. Basically, this piece is called I Am. Okay. How can anyone capture an entity, idea, force, or expanse as great as the goddess or, the, or God? However one conceptualizes her, the universe, or the force. How can anyone capture, contain, or imprison all of this wonderment? The possibility takes precedence over so-called reality. Remember that. I am. Some call me goddess. Some call me master, sir, or mistress. I am pink, blue, but also green, purple, yellow, chartreuse, puce, and all the colors beyond human vision. I am. Who am I? Am I Venus? Mars? Am I Shiva? Lakshmi? Kanon? Amaterasu? Mary? Buddha? Amida? Or Kali? Am I Jean d'Arc, otherwise known as Joan of Arc? My French is sucky. The Chevalier d'Or, Quentin Crisp? Or Eddie Izzard? I am a hero. I am F to M. To F. To M, to F to M, to F to M. I am a fag, a dyke, a girl fag, a guy dyke. I am the pretty little boy who loves pink Welcome and blocks and trucks and pretty, pretty things. I am the little girl who loves purple and papa and fire trucks and police cars and always speaking her mind. I am the blood that throbs through my body, coursing swiftly, powerfully, purposefully, that pours out from my body, that every month aggregates and accumulates in anticipation of an embryo to protect, feed, nurture, and provide for. I am man, masculine, feminine, woman, boy, girl, girl boy, or boy girl. Am I she? He, Z, it, do these, does this, does this have anything to do with who I am? I am soft, smooth hands as well as weather beaten ones, powerful breasts, beautiful sideburns, and scrawny arms. My friend, the white male Republican, says that I can have 10 penises and 10 vaginas, and I would still be me. He gets it better than almost anyone else in my life. Because I agree. I'm still me. Answering the phone. Sir? Ma'am? Or is that man? Do I sound like a deeper masculine woman? Or a higher pitched man? Or just a person? I am priest, prophet, pro priestess, and itinerant monk. I am man with breasts, girl with stubble. The bearded lady, or bearded goddess? I am, like all these, mere words cannot possibly compare with the complexity of the infinite divine. I am pink! I am a spiritual being, whole, perfect, delightful, and right, from which nothing can ever be taken or lost, never duplicated or recreated. I am wise, wisdom, foolish, but which is which? I am vibrant, vital, vivacious, victorious, vindicated, and vulnerable. I am great, strong, weak, fragile, mighty, and electric, and eclectic. I am affirming and affirmed, passionate, a leader, a teacher, a student, and each cannot exist without the other, as with all things. I am you. You are in me, and I am you. You are divine. You are unique. You are loved. You are love. You are beautiful. You are cherished. The world 
the universe is a better place because you are in it. And we all increase from building relationships with each other, with the universe, and with ourselves. The goddess's mantra, you be you. Who are you? I am that I am. Thank you. Thank you. This pride celebration, I haven't performed since 2001, and this is a really big deal for me to be back performing, writing, singing. I used to be a, a semi-professional soprano, and that's gone, but in its place, something new has emerged, and I'm really grateful to have shared all this and been vulnerable with all of you. Thank you so much.